started for them. The bomb is going to get planted. A quick trade there as Breeze goes down. Cirque, who's been such a force in this round, might have to do it again. He's up on the high ground with the AWP. And let's see if he can hold this bomb plan. He gets the vice, and now it's a 2 on 3 as the Danes move a little bit closer, trying to see if they can end this map right here, right now. Cirque. Covering for the flank. Tarek down on the low ground. Another kill for Cirque. Make it a triple. And now Tarek, not been a great map for him either. And he's going to be going down, leaving it all up to Cirque. And no one defusing the bomb yet. He sees one up. Oh. He flicks. He gets the kill. Now a quad. Can he save it? Can he get the double OT? Cirque, you've got to be kidding me. He takes down every single one. An absolutely magnificent play. What a beast. The offer. It's, it's exceptional, just baiting out shots. He knew he had to watch the flank. That's got to be so crushing for Astralis. They seemed in control, and that's what they need out of Cirque. He's been their second best player up to this point of the Major, but this game has been phenomenal for him. These AWP kills doing everything for NRG. He got all five kills. He got an ace. He got the ace. He, he aced his way into double overtime. This is... That's what it takes, isn't it? That's so beautiful. And you don't normally see that out of Cirque. He is much more laid back and calm. Yeah. But that'll get anyone hyped up. His way down through the smoke. Cirque doesn't quite spot him as the smoke dissipates. So they allow them towards the site. He will see a foot and he'll take the fight. Overthrows the vice with the first kill. Oh, what? oh Cirque! The wrist breaker! <laughs> My goodness, this man just makes me feel things, Blair. to work with and this need oh it could be so good please Liaz oh, yeah. there it is it goes out now it finds a lot of damage still in spite of being a little late sir doubling down Ethan in with one but so much damage is done to these two oh, remaining no. players Cirque surely not it's the head-to-head -head. it's the clash of the Titans and Cirque on 17 points of health waiting for this peak from Grat now gonna duck down through the vents tuck tail in towards the B bomb site and he's at least gonna get away with getting this bomb planted yeah, right side part as well that lets him go really anywhere he wants he knows Grat's coming through the door and he will shut him down Capitalize and here comes NRG once again. Bentec close with the AK, gets himself a quick triple. That is fantastic. The bomb's down on the ground as Breeze now has to make quick work as he moves towards. Oh that my day. A bomb site, but oh my goodness, Cirque, he's an absolute monster. Oh my god. What the hell, James? Goodbye, Tarek. One HP on Moose. Cirque. Cirque, you are filthy. You are a dirty animal. What is going on? Oh my god! <laughs> no way! No way! That is unreal, what I just witnessed. On the aggressive side, if he wants to get out of town, he's going to have to go past the AWP of Cirque or into the hands of Breezy in the B-bomb site. So either way, he is ooh, gonna get taken down, and that's a quick shot from Cirque. They're lightning fast reactions. One upper, one in midi, and one in that little corner. That was uh, Ethan behind the vent. So that's that That would have been a lot to fight all at once. Two of them low on health. It's it's looking very good at the moment here. Cirque gonna make a one, and he's gonna follow. Quick triple for him. This time in NRG, looking like they might just go back to basics with a B hit off the back. Brad getting mowed down. Forrester followed up. And now Sphere here alone really does have to do a hell of a lot if the team want to hold on to this round. He will get oh helped out by Kinky. That nade finds even more damage onto Cirque. Cirque will still keep the man advantage in favor of NRG, but it's very, very brief indeed. Sphere and Speedak making quick work of NRG. 
And now it's Cirque uh, left up, 1v2, 2 HP to his name, and an ace to find if NRG want to get this round. This feels like it should be impossible, Hugo. Surely. They haven't tapped the bomb yet, though. They're going to double peek him. Cirque's got a 1v1. Sviat was late to the party, going to try and play that bomb instead. Could stick it, but opts not to. Getting close with the AWP, and Cirque doesn't fall for the bait. Sviat has to be the one to make the move, and Cirque's coming in on the back line. He is not getting out of this one. No ace, but no worry. NRG, they find their first round with Sviat. He's going to find himself down. Done to Tarek. He hasn't even made it down into the vents. It actually work out for them while I say that. Vinny's aware. Going to drill into Stanislaw, dropping the bomb out in hut. Cirque with the arduous task of trying to retrieve what was once theirs. Oh my goodness, that shot. K Serato shot out of his boots and now Cirque can try and... Advantage extended for G2. They're going to have the perfect pincer here. They can have one short, one throwing a spanner in from the doors in the form of Amanek and three on long. Not if Cirque completely rips the short presence out from this attack. Now they can boost him up. He's going hunting. What? what? Who did he even kill? I don't understand. Three versus two, they could boost him up. They would have set him up for more, as if that was possible. Another for Cirque. As said throughout the series so far, I think there's no doubt that he has the highest flash assist ratio and in the match yesterday as well. Like, it seems like he's very good at getting these kicks. And <laughs> oh my God. Cirque with two kills through the door. I'm not sure there was even a single point of damage done for them. That, that was a hell of a couple shots out of Cirque as you just saw. There it is. There's the opening, and here's a swarm. The yes, swarm is in. There's so many players there. No smokes down, so every angle is available pretty much. Cirque doing magnificent amounts of damage. 16 HP. That Ooh. flashback absolutely nails it. Four kills. How has he done that? Yeah. Put everyone back in B, and that actually allowed for Yuri to get out Ivy. Like, that's so <laughs> elaborate. Yeah, <laughs> but like, you, you think about it, like, this, the reason that just broke down, as soon as you've seen all that utility on both bomb sides, you would assume, okay, that's got to be the final commitment. There's it nothing left. To, it you, has to be. You know there's nothing left, but still, they walk outside. It's so sick and that's, that's oh, sorry, right. what's going on how is he alive whoa <laughs> i've never seen anything like it this is going to be really tough scout yeah. on breeze up on cirque is the other weaponry here that's a great shot from Jax. but there's Cirk with oh no he's got a scout as well he's got two kills on top of it it's just shocks he's been tagged even some falling damage and finished off nice job from Cirque. he missed no shots at the end he just got all four of them you know, they're not happy with five rounds, but it's definitely something that they, they can they can work with. And here is here it is. Here is just the master of the scout at work. Insane firing speed. And he just doesn't miss. <laughs> well, the scout is one of those interesting weapons where you get actually, you know, people, you have like scout specialists. He's just here to fill in uh, while they need him. And he's done a great job. He's delivered on all fronts. And <laughs> putting himself in a shop window, I'd say, Alex. And up towards that A-bomb site circuit, the deep end. They might not expect this, considering there's no AWP on long supporting Tarek earlier on. So, speed at going for the peak and into his death. Cirque spots another. He finds the leg. Forrester down to 10. The pistol's out, but does Cirque realize that Kinky's up close? Of course he does. Last one, he's got it. Cirque, three kills on that AWP. Peak into that outer bomb site, and the answer is not much. Drops the smoke, throws the flashbang. Wants your posture like it's a hit towards Ivy. But look at Device. Oh. He's not fooled at all. He's rotated over to the inner bomb site. But what a boost. A triple boost. And that's the 50th kill for Cirque. Up into this palace position could be a difference maker for EG. They didn't have anyone here, so they've got to bear it in mind. And now Cirque oh. out with two is suddenly stripped this man advantage away. And he's just continuing to put up numbers. Still considering this was the force, it's been a good round thus far. NRG, they'll be perfectly content with just making sure these players die with the bomb. But they are going to try and go for it. Breezy walks to his demise. Cirque, he's somehow able to get that, and there's still a chance for him here. Now with the AK, and Cirque's going to manage it. Who's back here? Seven, he's got an M4 at least. Needs to win this fight, and he loses it. But Kadian through the smoke trade. Kadian's and Snappy Ooh. going to work. EG just ran into the blender. Three Eight versus seconds. two. And Kadian knows it, but don't throw it away. You've got the man advantage, Kadian. No oh. need to be the hero charging through the smoke. Oh, he's done it. He's given it up and now giving them a rifle as well. It's going to be down to just Cirque. He's going to close things out here. No problem at all. That is absolutely massive. This should be unwinnable for Buster. He shouldn't get a thing.
patience though. He has teammates. Let's not forget that they need to draw Cirque's fire. And now the smoke's there. He has to clear. Oh, but Cirque, smart work, holds up to his responsibility with a reposition. Now Fugly to be tested. Chris and Fitch going wide. Their backs turned. It's the perfect crossfire. And Jane, he's not long Huge for this world. By Cirque. What a round from Cirque. If he didn't get that done, that A bombsite defense would have just been absolutely destroyed. There's not many AWPers when smoke. Wow, that second shot. A, a second delay right here, and you lose the round anyway. The flashbang does nothing. And Ethan, he's so clean on point. A beautiful triple for him in the round, and now it's a one versus two. And they're on the bomb, actually. Maybe they could do it still defusing, but he sees it. And all the rifles are gone, and EG will win the round anyway here. Nine to two. And they have taken the momentum, and we're looking at an eight to, well, soon to be a nine to scoreline, most likely here in favor of NRG, so Cloud9 are really starting to struggle. Cirque will pick off one, I think he got some collateral damage. Oh my god, that is disgusting from Cirque. Always good for it. I think, actually, at the Major and onwards, he has been a bit more consistent. And I agree, he definitely, and that's one thing to note as well, when Dabs was under energy, Cirque was struggling a yeah. little bit, and the same can maybe be said for Tarek too. Uh, but you're right, I actually do feel like Circus definitely reinvented himself Game a little bit. leader in golden, right? So much Whoa. aggression potential from the rest of the gang. But EG are what? feeling like the kryptonite at this point, even with the nade stack in window, oh it doesn't my. matter because Cirque has responded with kills of his own. And now Cirque and Tarek are the ones left in this 2v1. They've got time, they've got post-plant positions. Na'Vi will be coming in from pretty much everywhere. Tarek will find that out the hard way, taking some damage there. Down to 46, Cirque with a fantastic response. Nose one is in the Apalmas. Running distraction. Cirque, though, he is no fool. Picks up another kill, but it's all on him. A one versus four. Cirque with three. One more to go as Flame. He makes his way forwards, and Cirque knows exactly where he is. There goes the flick. He can't land it. It's almost there, but Flamey takes the kill. Now it's going to be Cirque. One versus two here. And can he actually stop them from winning that sixth round and completing that four-round streak? Oh, dear. That timing. Summer was watching for this walkthrough. A little bit of a tap on the edge of the wall. Don't know if they actually saw him. I don't think so. He's right in between, and he could easily take down Freeman on the other side. He, he just wishes he could find that player right there. Sirk getting the kill, but now what do you do? He doesn't have a smoke or anything. He's going to have to take the straight-up fight against Summer. He's going to tap the bomb and just hold it in, not even try and fake it, and Summer goes for the fight, and oh! That is a defuse straight up. Forest and Rez, it's that duo. Once more that stands between NRG and a potential round win. Nip and a potential match victory. Ethan going in, using the smoke to his advantage. Forrest can't see anything. Rez gonna try and spam. Here comes Forrest. Through the smoke, gets one. Cirque's holding down the defuse and gets it. In amongst the smoke. NRG live to fight another day. The bombs tick, they've both got kits. Two versus two. Short B and Monster. There goes Tarek and Cirque now. How does he not get traded? They can wait for him to touch the bomb, but the monster position will peak. And now it's down to the short B. Picks up a rifle. He's running out of time to do this. Avoids the flashbang. Art not peaking just yet. He doesn't believe he's going wide. Oh! And he's clutched it. There's time. Surely there's time. There We're is. going to overtime. Oh my <laughs> god, that looks insurmountable, but here we are. Henry! This is the boost we normally see in this sort of scenario. It allows you to look towards T steps when you swing out. There it is. That's why. Picture perfect. Actually, ooh, decide to start moving over. Cirque, he's so mobile with this AWP. Now he gets caught over here towards B. They're getting whittled down by this op. They're just gonna get. They're. They're, they're just gonna get whittled. Oh, this is looking very good. EG finally. Get back into the game. It's been a rough few rounds for them. I'm just absolutely crushing it to keep it as a close affair. But they still need to get themselves to five rounds. They've currently only got a troublesome two. Cirque with the opener this time. This on two HP. Magist brought down to just 81. They're running through secret. But they've got a little trick up their sleeves and his name is Cirque. Swings out through the vent. Gets one. The timing on the second as well. He very nearly found it. Magist caught with his pants around his ankle. Somehow he lands the nose scope as able to beat his way through him. Cirque smashes the lot of them. He was caught throwing nades and Bottle getting tagged as well. Jumping up for Ethan. He's not, not going to get the kill. Now it's Yorp in the 1v2. Cirque getting a kill and he's down to 10 HP. Does he commit or just rotate back? He's going to try and cross with the smoke. That Molotov landing, but he's already ahead of it. We can see the legs. You can see the legs. Oh, that's one in the groin for <laughs> Zao Sage. And he is gone. It's so different playing 3v3 when you only have 30 seconds. Oh. This is one of those positions you sometimes check. 
Or you do it half assed like that, and it all goes very wrong. The first dude needs to be checking that. Seconds are good enough. You can see they lined up for him, and it all falls apart. You need to be cognizant of that position. That might be enough to save the round for Fury here. It's Suck, and a two versus one. He's got everything he needs to win this. He's got Molotov, flashbangs, HE, the bomb. 30 seconds, but CT's. Actually, in pretty prime positions here. Will Squeaky? Here he goes down. Molotov toward the vent. I love it. Will it bait out Vinny just to run up there? And hope for the best? So, no. Cirque gets a nice, clean, open plant. And there is no kit for Vinny. Cirque still maintains the advantage. Holding towards Hut. And he can toy with him here. He knows as soon as he touches that bomb, he can flash out. He can try and bait out a footstep, some shots. He's timed it really well. And it wow. is going to be Cirque winning the round there. After the double kill towards Lower. And as it felt like they were out there. Speaking of monsters, will make his way in towards that bomb site. MBK with the opportunity. There's the first. Can't find two. And it's going to be a massive advantage now for NRG. It is going to be stolen away. And this timing is working out for Apex. He stayed calm. Alex gets his third. And it looks like the round might be done. But Cirque, oh, he wins these. Apex knows it as well. Trying to play it safe. Doesn't commit to the kill. Wants to guarantee the round win here. RPK coming up towards bank by the looks of things. And Cirque, he's got time to reposition and make things very complicated. Yeah, you really don't want to challenge him alone. It's a good idea that they get the last player in there. Cirque walking in. RPK's in a lethal position. And Cirque, oh, the timing. Damn. He just made it around the corner. They actually don't have a kit picked up right now. This could be insane. Cirque could actually spend a fair bit of time fighting them. Bomb is up there. They're going to make a jump. Now they're on it, but it's a 10-second defuse. Can he get the one kill and run for it? He's going to go straight for it. Five seconds, four seconds left. Cirque is... No! Oh, the quad kill! Picking it up. No scope through the smoke and getting the round for NRG. Outrageous one versus two clutch. That is Ethan to do it. JW doesn't have position to wrap on it, so they can't deny that was probably their best chance. I say that until Twist shows up. Cirque to clutch it back with an AWP, and Twist has an AK picked up. He might be low on HP, but he's getting a lot closer onto position, but JW reads it wrong. Thought Cirque might wrap around it. Twist, he didn't have enough left for the fight. He fought hard, but he didn't have enough left for the last kill, and energy will win out the half. That suddenly things look so much better for NRG. Oh. There's a fast peek from Cello. He dances on the edge of the tanker train, and it is just Cirque starting to round the corner. He's been shot in the back through the smoke. Yells there, shot taken, Cirque successfully so. He may have heard the bomb's been touched, but it's back off again. He oh. almost lines up the collateral. Is it another 1v3 clutch? Cirque, no excellent way. flash. Bam, oh, what my goodness. Flick. Cirque's wrists need to be bound. That was 